with a health alert about red tide now on Florida's east coast. It's already in Palm Beach County and Broward County could be next. Tonight, one city is already putting out the warning. Its beach could be closed come Wednesday if tests come back positive. Red tide is devastating for marine life and may cause health problems for people as well. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live in Deerfield Beach with tonight's top story at 11. Carrie. That's right. The city of Deerfield Beach put out this tweet earlier today saying that the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is testing the waters here for possible red tide. They do expect the results back on Wednesday. In the tweet, the city says that if the results come back positive, they might have to close down the fishing pier and put up some no swimming signs on the beach. And that is potentially bad news for people who frequent this area. These two men fish all over South Florida and the Treasure Coast. News that Deerfield Beach is being tested for red tide is a concern. It's not confirmed and the city hopes to have results by midweek, but Alan Eskwich knows it could have wide ranging implications. It's going to hurt the people fishing here, you know, the fishing industry, the beaches, restaurants on the beach. That's what we've seen on the west coast of Florida in the Gulf of Mexico, where red tide raged for months. In Palm Beach County on Monday, red flags flew from Deerfield Beach north through Martin County, meaning beaches are closed. Workers wore masks after Palm Beach County officials confirmed that the organism that causes red tide was found in the water. I read the sign that said there was bacteria in the water. It was kind of scary. Yeah, it was actually kind of scary. There's something going on in the water. Over the weekend, people began complaining of burning eyes and throats on some Palm Beach County beaches. Water samples were taken and sent to a fish and wildlife lab for testing and found to have low to medium levels of the algae. Experts say it's uncommon on the East Coast. Very, very rare on the East Coast of Florida. Um, it uh, usually starts out in the Gulf of Mexico, and if the wind and the currents are correct, it'll get blown inshore, or it can actually start inshore a little bit over there. And then it takes off. Since 1953, there have been only eight times when red tide appeared on Florida's east coast. Experts say conditions here are much different than the Gulf of Mexico, so the effects may not be as severe. But for some, just the appearance of red tide is worrisome. I honestly think it is deeper because it seems to be getting worse and worse every year. When's the last time you heard of it affecting this far south on the east coast? So again, here on Deerfield Beach, nothing is confirmed. Tests were done. So they are awaiting results on whether there is indeed red tide in the water here. In Palm Beach County, officials there said earlier today that they may reopen some beaches on Wednesday because they've only found low to medium concentrations of red tide in that county. Live in Deerfield Beach, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.